Hey, this is episode 17 of the Inspired Nepal Show and this week I'm with the lovely Sunuk Sunwar. <laughs> she is a, a fashion and lifestyle blogger and blogger, so she's got her own YouTube channel called Sunuk. Sunu yeah. Sunuk. Um, Sunuk, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you very much. It's lovely thank having you. you on our show. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> now, like I mentioned earlier, uh, you are a fashion and lifestyle blogger and blogger as well. Mm -hmm. Now, which came first, the blog or the vlog? It's very similar to the question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> <laughs> the vlog or the blog? Um, personally, I would say I started YouTube um, as a vlog. Vlog came first because, yeah. and yeah, that's how I slowly start to develop into blogging. Okay. So, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself as to like where you're from and a little bit about your childhood? Uh, okay, basically, um, I am from a place called Dharan. So I was born over there, but uh, immediately when I grew up older, I came to Lalitpur. And then after that, I went to hostel. And then after that, I went to lots of various schools. <laughs> and then, yeah, and it was 19 years old when I came to England over here. And then... It was lots of, um, what do you say, lots of journeys. Okay. And before, to be honest, I, uh, my real name is not Sunuk or Sunuk, Sunu or Sunuk, yeah, but my nickname is Sunu, but my original name is Sumnima. Oh, Sumnima. So most of the Nepalese, uh, like most of the old people where I went to back home, they know me as Sumnima. Sumnima. Uh, so w when I started to do YouTube, and that's how uh, Sunuk, Sunuk was formed okay cool um tell me also a little bit about your your vlog so i know it's fashion and lifestyle mm -hmm. but what does it like what do you actually do uh in my vlog in your vlog or, or youtube channel yeah youtube uh, channel um i try to do everything kind of uh different every time different mm -hmm. and very fun and very entertaining and i want to grab people's um what do you say attention attention yeah. and i want to connect with them so um it's just for fun to be honest and i want to inspire lots of people mm. but mainly it is uh fashion yeah mainly mm. it's fashion because i feel confident on uh, what i'm wearing what i am like how i present myself so it is mainly in fashion but every time it's i want to and even like lots of collaboration and all. So. Yeah. When did you first start uh, doing YouTube? Um, I started what? doing YouTube uh, around March 2013. Yeah, oh, 2014. So, so it's yeah. three years now. Yeah, it hasn't been so long. So no, it hasn't. Okay. Yeah. Why did you start like your YouTube channel? And why did you start blogging? Yeah, this, um, like I said, you know, uh, in my final year, I had to 
make and capsule collection my final collection and over there we have to like do how how you're gonna sell that collection we have to do everything and in that case i thought social media and youtube mainly youtube and social media was my uh was the best way to expose my collection or expose my talent and then um and that day you know what i just my <laughs> my other half he wasn't very supportive and he said don't do it but you know i just took my laptop and sat down and you know sat down in the dining and took it out and did recorded my first video from the webcam yeah <laughs> from the webcam still it's there in the youtube if you yeah, yeah, yeah if yeah, you I've have a look that. and it's quite funny yeah but you know looking at looking at it looking at it yeah. looking back at it yeah. now i thought not to delete that video because it's quite memorable for me and i only know how much pressure i was that day you know i wanted to do something and i wanted to be someone and since then i have you know continued doing youtube and i think i'm progressing day by day and yeah that's how it happened just to expose myself that's more. good so you what so you started off with doing fashion and lifestyle blogging yes but you're still doing that right now yes well. i am still doing it yeah. but i want to be more kind of not uh, long but i want to make it entertain keep it short keep it entertaining and keep it attached to mm. the audience so was there anyone that you looked up to in terms of fashion blogger at that, at that time um yes actually yes yeah. that's how you get inspired to yeah. be honest yeah and you know um there was a girl called i don't know if i'm I, I will not say her name but she was kind of inspiring to me and she at at the first yeah i was how old i was uh, 23 24 i think so at that time i didn't even know what is a youtuber i didn't knew <laughs> wow. promise yeah i am such a under the stone yeah okay right. under the rock or something like that that yeah. time yeah i'm such a kind of that kind of girl who is very old school kind of thing yeah. and i'm very late in new fashion new trends and all so yeah she and me uh, she was very inspiring to me she said that you know there is a fashion blogger there's a fashion youtuber and all called close encounter missile fan fashion beauty uh fashion fashion arrow four and they're really famous american asian american youtubers and all yeah mm. and uh, she said okay did you let's start a youtube channel and we started a youtube channel together that time yeah and then she felt kind of awkward and she felt kind of i don't know she didn't feel comfortable and she deleted that video mm. and i already forgot about that and you know after years i mean months passed by I thought I should do it because I I loved it, you know. I loved seeing close encounters. I do you know who is close encounters? No. Oh, okay. But I love seeing uh, Michelle Pham. Yeah, you know, know her. Michelle oh Pham. my god, she's my huge inspiration. Yeah. To be honest, I would love to meet her one day. Before yeah. I came over here as well, I was watching her videos, you know. Yeah. She's amazing. She's So was that your yeah. first of uh, fashion icon or more like a role model? Um uh, she wasn't a fashion icon. Mm. Um she was just uh, a fellow I, YouTuber okay, yeah. that I really respect what she's doing it. Yeah. And to be honest, fashion icon is like, um, I love couture. You know couture? No. I love, I love couture fashion. It's like very high-end fashion. Okay. Like, and that's avant-garde. You know avant-garde? Alexander McQueen and all. Very I, I, out I've there. I've heard the names. Trends. I've heard the names. Yeah. I love that kind of like strange, unique and all Lady Gaga kind of fashion okay, things. Right. Whereas... But if I was to look at it, like fat YouTubers say it's Michelle Farm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You've been blogging since 2013 and yes. you're still doing it. Yeah. What do you love about blogging? Uh, you know, because, uh, because it's not easy to consistently, you know, blog all the time because like you've got your responsibilities in yeah. life. Yeah. Uh, you've got so many things going on and you've got to have to get take some time out to record it to edit it which takes a lot of time yeah so why do you still do it? um you know uh to be honest um uh, a long time ago um i used to feel kind of like not depressed but like minor kind of depressed you know just i'm just wasting my time doing nothing because in uk people say that you don't have any time right? No, it's not like that, you know, you just go to work, you come back and there is still a time, you know, some people go to gym, 
but I'm a lady. I don't want to go to gym. I, I would love to go to gym, but I, I go to work, you know, that's how my lifestyle is. And, you know, my free time, you know, when you, when you feel uh, free, you feel like your brain gets dull. Yeah. And that's how you feel depressed. Mm. Yeah. And um, that's, and you start, you start to think negative. Yeah, there's a saying, yeah. empty mind is the devil's workshop. Yeah, so you start feeling, yeah. and uh, like I did my YouTubing, like I vlog, edit, I love editing, yeah, love I editing. love editing, and that's how I, um, I take off my negativity energy, negative energy, I take it off, you know, that's how I become positive, mm. and I love vlogging, I love YouTubing, because it makes me who am I, and I can show my personality to the audience, or I can inspire people, and you know, People say that I don't have time, but you know, honestly, if you love what you are doing, you don't say that I don't have time, you know, you don't feel like that. You just do it automatically. And I don't feel any kind of pressure. No, no, no. Yeah, I just came across your YouTube channel not so long ago and I thought it was really nice because you, you're just being yourself. Yeah. You're not you're just being real, not pretend, pretending to be someone else. And like, that's what, you know, that's what I thought, like, that's what I liked about it. Mm -hmm. um, but. Who actually does the photography for you and like the taking recording videos? Do you do yourself? Um, you know, mostly I do it myself to yeah. be honest. Yeah. So uh, really there is a chance that my husband does it for okay. me or my mom or my friends does it for me. But mostly it's me because I if you know sometimes I feel like you know I can take it out of my brain and put it in someone's brain and you know they can read my brain what I'm thinking like um, like you know what I mean like you know so you're saying like when you have something to say yeah, some no some like if I pose like this you know I want it in a different angle okay, from right. a different ag angle like mostly I do it for myself I put the camera in the floor and I walk mm. so it's it's quite I feel it good because I can uh, multitask, so I can see, I can say that, oh, you got to say Ramro, that I say you got to say, so I put my camera, if you have noticed that I put my camera in different, different angle and all, right, have right. you seen it? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> from here, and I put the tab running, and from there, from there, and I love GoPro, that's how I record with GoPro, you don't have to do anything, and you just put the camera on, hit the press button, and you're good to go. Right, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. What is your personal style, you know, for you? Uh, my personal style, definitely it has to be comfortable. Mm. And secondly, it has to be very quirky and it has to be color. I love colors. You love color. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> and pattern, textiles. Wow. And I sometimes, I when I go to like big events and all, I like to show my Nepalese heritage as well. So I put my latcha on with my casual dress, like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. So you got your own unique style. Yeah. Um, where do you normally tend to buy clothes, like, in, uh, and why? To be honest, I I love Topshop, yeah, I love Topshop, but uh, in Topshop, it's mostly clothes are very, uh, not very pricey, but it, they can be pricey, yeah? yeah? So, I am a huge bargain queen, yeah, and I love... <laughs> <laughs> huge bargain queen. Yeah, yeah, definitely, I, I love um, going to charity shops and all, and I love to find, like, pieces, like, very unique to me. Mm. You know, it's not it's not about money. I can spend money, yeah, but it it is about who am I. So I want to be unique. I want to be who am I, who is Sunuk. Mm. So yeah. Yeah. Mm. How many times like how much time do you spend blogging? Like how often do you uh post your videos on YouTube? Um right at the moment I'm doing every Saturday. But right now I am having a huge videos lined up, so it's coming up and people want to see more videos. So I am doing four days at a time okay. so yeah so every four days you like, yeah four days or once a week okay okay tell me a little bit about your um i don't know if you can remember any but your proudest achievement that comes to your mind straight away uh, uh, okay <laughs> there was a proudest moment you know uh i took part in um if young designer if you know young you designer. Don't know. yeah i took a I part in about. young designer so i I was top 10, so it was quite proudest moment even though I didn't win because, mm. you know, everybody doesn't like, um, they like kind of like, uh, what do you say, 
they don't like avant-garde you know they want to be simple and kind of thing even though even though i wasn't simple even though i i was being myself i was at least in top 10 and it was quite good it's good yeah <laughs> now besides blogging you also do um random blogs you know you do uh fun challenges yeah uh, what else do you do you also do um Makeup videos. I have yeah. seen your makeup videos as well, and you do creative talk, yeah. which is very similar to what yeah. we did right now. Oh so my god! Tell me a little bit about creative talk. Oh uh, yeah. Where, where did that idea? Where did the idea come from? You know, me myself, being who am I? I really respect myself because I love it. I am inspiring lots of people. I hope so. Uh, and like me, there is a lot of people behind who is doing something like you are doing it right now, something I'm doing it right now. So there's a lot of people who is doing at the moment. So I want to help them and I want to expose them in mm. with my own audience. That's why I thought, why not start a platform like this on the side as well? Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's how I started. What do you do like in your spare time when you're not? blogging or YouTube. Oh, basically I don't have a spare time. I think night is only my spare time when I'm sleeping. I yeah. love sleeping, yeah. yeah, but um I don't have a spare time. I am editing, I am running my own business, I am uh talking to people, I'm talking about collaboration, I am planning on my ready to wear design because I'm I'm planning to do something mm. like do you take time out for yourself just to like go out in the park, just go on a holiday or like, you know? Yes, I love traveling. So you know, we recently, we've just been to uh, Cornwall with our old school mates. Right. And now, because uh, me and my husband, it's been six years, we have been married. So we are planning to go somewhere and, you know, just to relax. But to be honest, it's not a relax for me. It's our inspiration. You know, you find inspiration, you vlog about it, you share with your, with your viewers. So... Yeah. I would say no free time. Yeah. No. Definitely. But you're using those times in a very productive yeah, way. Productive way. Um, what's the main difference that you found before and after you've started blogging? What's the difference in your life in terms of your lifestyle? Um, I'm tr um, definitely I'm being more positive. Yeah. That's the main thing because growing up I was so negative. Yeah. Um, I grew up in very in hostel and people always compare with each other. Well, it's still they compare. Yeah, and comparing is the worst negative thing you mm. will do to yourself. Yeah. So I been YouTubing or been vlogging, I have learned to be positive and have to I have learned to um what do you say, be love myself. Okay. So definitely yeah. Good. Um I'm gonna ask you some quick fire questions. Okay, right. sure. <laughs> what is your favorite YouTube blogger? Oh who is your favorite YouTube blogger, yeah? Fashion uh Aero 4. Okay. Who is your favorite fashion icon? Um, uh, fascinator for. The most craziest thing that has happened to you in your life? Uh, craziest thing? Yeah. Oh my god. My past. Your past. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> what is the first thing you do in the morning? Uh, um, say, uh, well, I don't <laughs> say good morning to my husband. <laughs> right. uh, your favorite designer brand? Uh, uh, I've got two. I've got loads. Oh yeah, my just, God. just mention one. Oh. Okay, I'll give you two. Choose two. Uh, definitely Alison McQueen, but he's dead now. R.I.P. Rip. Um, and Prada. I love okay. Prada. What do you spend a lot of money on? What do you like to spend a lot of money on? Uh, for the future. For the future? Yeah. Good. Um, what is your guilty pleasure in terms of food? Uh, I love sleeping. Food, food. In terms oh, of food. In terms of food? Yeah. Uh, guilty pleasure. Um, Chapate. Yeah. That's nice. What does your closet look like? If I were to go right now to like to your, you know, your your cupboard or your drawer or closet, uh, definitely, what would I find? Definitely, um, sequins, lot of whoa, <laughs> and a uh, lot of colors. Lot of colors. Yeah. Um, how many tattoos or piercing do you have? Uh, I've got two tattoos and one, two, three. I used to have my. What is this person? But it's not not no. No, Targus. Tur Targus. 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 I've no idea. That person, but not anymore. Okay. Well, I used to have loads. I did my piercing all by myself. This right. one till here. You did it yourself. Yeah, I did myself with the cactus. Wow. But not anymore. In school days. You're crazy. I'm a hard chick. <laughs> I'm a hardcore, a hardcore girl. Yeah. <laughs> Very out there. Does it, doesn't it hurt when you do like yourself? Yeah, I do it myself. I was like with the cactus. Mm. I just go. Hook. It hurts. 
But I did my pier- I did my brother's piercing as well over there, 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 there. Yeah, definitely hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> um, one person you'd love to meet. Mr. Farm. Mr. Farm. Yeah. Uh, something people don't know about you. One thing or something people. Um, I'm definitely very honest. Honest. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Now that's the end of the quick fire question. Oh, that was Let's fun. Let's get to some, uh, you know, a little bit serious okay. questions. All right. Yeah. What would you say is the biggest challenge about being a fashion blogger? Uh, definitely you have to be positive, 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 positive and consistent, consistent, positive, consistent. Good. What, how do you like, um, how do you grow your subscribers, your followers now? Do you interact with them, communicate? Yes, I do com- uh, communicate with them because communication is crucial in this case. Yeah. Um, before I used to not communicate, well, you can see my channel before and now. Um, and I like to grab people's emotion and I like to just feel them, you know. Yeah. I want to make them feel me. So that's how. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you said it. I want them to feel me. Um, how, what would you say is like the, the most, the greatest satisfaction of being a fashion blogger? What, what satisfaction do oh, you Oh, definitely lots of subscribers, yeah. likes, comments. And when people approach you in the road and say, hi, Sunat Didi. I get that often. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. When definitely. You, when you when when, yeah. you, when people that you don't know come up to you and yeah. say, "Oh, you inspire me," or you know something like that. It's very similar. Um, what do you want to improve in the coming years? Like in, I don't know you've been doing vlogging. Um, do you want to go into like a different area, or do you want to focus on that one? In coming years, yeah. I definitely want to improve. Like in Sony, I want to make myself a little studio so that I can do my fashion videos inside. Okay. Because right now I'm really struggling, struggling to do fashion videos. Because in UK, you know, always the weather at the at one time it's good, one time it's sunny, one time it's rainy, one time it's stormy. So you get lots of light distraction. Yeah. So definitely want to have a little studio and with good lights and all. Yeah. Are you working, um, what are you working at the moment? Like um, any projects, yeah. any, any specific goals at the moment? I'm working, I'm working lots of things. Like yeah. I'm collaborating with a girl called Smithy Rana. She's a designer. So yeah. I'm tr- trying to, you know, do a little um, capsule collection kind of video thing. And then I'm planning to do, do you know Parker, Parker Anita? Parker Anita? Yeah, she's a sister. She does like uh, reaction videos oh. and all. No, so I'm know. planning to do um, another collaboration, like types of Nepalese parents or types of Nepalese friends like that. And also I'm planning to do this meet and greet as you already know, mm. but I don't know when is this video going to be up. So it might be already done. Right. And then lots of, lots of collaboration is happening in the future. Lots. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask you like um, some typical questions that I ask all the guests at the mm-hmm. end. Um, Few the few of them few questions. So you the first one is um, what is the best advice you've received so far? Um, to be honest, I always get advice from my uh, from my friends or from my what do you say subscribers and all in my social medias and all. And uh, the best advice was you know I I was feeling very down and not down but I was feeling kind of like confused at the time and I said I oh, I don't know what we how to exp- expose myself. You know, on love your body. Have you seen that video, love your body? Is it about the way you? Sp- is there someone else in the video? Yeah. Okay. That so girl. that video, I was a bit confused. It was long time ago. Yeah, okay. way back. And see, I post a video. I post a picture in Instagram, and she was like, "Sunan Didi, just be you, just be real." And that was a very eye-opening message for me. Mm. And you know, it's still in my heart over here. So yeah. Yeah, that, that's. I think that's what you're doing at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Just being yourself. Um, Let's say, what advice would you give to someone who wants to become a blogger or just vlog on YouTube? Mm. Um, could be fashion, just general. Uh, so before you come in, you t- you know, it's not like uh, I I don't know how to give you advice, but I just talk in my experience is that I am always hundred percent myself. I'm being real. Yeah, you have to also love yourself and be real, and that's. Because you're gonna get lots of negativity in the in the future if yeah. you're gonna start this kind of big um, YouTube in the fu- in the future you're gonna get lots of hatred, yeah. lots of yeah. uh, negativity. So if you start to be you and mm-hmm. if you start to love yourself, you are the one who's gonna protect yourself. So at first you have to know who you are 
love yourself and just be you just be real so there'll be lots of negativity but you have to be strong yourself to handle the uh, what do you say handle the enemy or handle the negativity, negativity. yeah the yeah. doubt fear good one uh, um where where do you see yourself in like five years time what can we expect in the next few years oh my god definitely oh i hope i'm gonna grow more you're gonna grow like I taller <laughs> <laughs> i don't think you're gonna grow taller than this <laughs> unless i wear a heel <laughs> no definitely you know what i really want to grow because i am who am i and i will really 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 want to grow and i would really want to inspire a lot of people like me who is in this situation and help people and hopefully you know we're gonna have like big nepalese community otherwise you know just big youtuber community uk because american is huge you know american youtubers and i like use they support lots of youtubers 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 collaborate mm. support collaborate that's how they grow but in over here i don't see anything happening like this mm. but definitely i would like to grow more and let's see so Sometimes. people need to unite get together yes, get together support each other yeah definitely yeah that's only how we're gonna grow otherwise who's gonna watch us <laughs> obviously there will be people i mean there's seven over seven billion people yeah. in the world and it doesn't have to be just here but there are people everywhere and because the internet and anyone from yeah. like africa or any other continent can you know watch your videos and yeah. get inspired yeah hopefully. So there's always going to be people watching mm -hmm. um how can people get in touch with you or like just follow you, your social medias? Yeah, I'm a huge uh, social media girl. Yeah. So everything is Suna Snook. That's how people, you know, for me, it doesn't have to be like very professional. You can just say, hey, what's cooking? You know, hey, what's hey cooking? you want to collaborate? That's, you know, I do that to everyone, yeah. you know. So you don't have to be scared. Oh my God, what she's going to think like that? I'm not going to think any, anything like that. Mm. You just can just DM me Instagram snapchat you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> Must be cool. i was i was really surprised when i messaged you and it was like hey it's like and I, I was i wasn't expecting like something that kind of response i was yeah. like you're like very friendly yeah you know, you know just what do you say you don't have because you don't have to fake to be you know to come to me yeah. you just can be real i'm not gonna judge you know i know you have to be professional but you know we are just collaborating. It's not end of the world, you know. Yeah. So it's just it's good. <laughs> friends. Yeah, I guess that's that's <laughs> it for the uh, you know the whole <laughs> interview. Yeah, that was lovely. <laughs> it was really nice having you on our show. Yeah, me too, uh, guys. Yeah. And thanks for inviting me to your house. Uh, it's, it's a lovely house. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, you know, I enjoyed talking to you and all your good advice and you, real talk. You know yeah. what I mean? Real talk. <laughs> Oh, thank you well, so much. Hope, it was hope to, yeah, hope to keep in touch and like, yeah, definitely. Yeah, good luck for everything. Definitely, your goals. and you, and yeah. you guys, guys. I want you all to grow as well. Yeah. So keep on doing what you do yeah. the best. So let's keep it up. Yeah? yeah, I'm sure we're gonna sit down again in the future. Yeah, again and talk so, about something else. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, hope to see you guys again next week. Until then, take care. Peace. Bye, guys. Hey, thanks for watching the videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'd love to hear from you guys and your feedback so just leave a comment below for any suggestion tips and or guest requests um, but if this is your first time here then do subscribe to our channel uh, also check out our other videos by simply clicking on them videos um, please follow us on facebook instagram and snapchat the links down on the description tab um, thank you for your love and support and i'll see you next week